Hi, I'm Cameron Turner. Songwriter producers Neo and Chuck Harmony are making excuses for the inexcusable comeback track they created for Rihanna. It's called Russian Roulette. And critics like me think that this is an irresponsible and dangerous song that encourages suicide. But of course, the men who put this song together don't agree with that. They say it's no big deal. Neo actually compared Russian Roulette to Michael Jackson's Thriller. But that comparison crumbles under the most superficial examination. I mean, Michael Jackson's Thriller? That was like an old-fashioned monster movie. It was practically a cartoon with the zombies dancing down the street. But Russian Roulette, on the other hand, has Rihanna singing about picking up a gun, pointing it at herself, and pulling the trigger. The track even ends with a sound effect of a revolver's chamber being spun, followed by a gunshot. But even with all that, Chuck Harmony says, don't take the song at face value. He said, quote, people are so closed-minded. The song is not literal. Like most provocative art, it's symbolism. Grow up. Well, I am grown, and it seems pretty obvious to me that Russian roulette is literal and not symbolic. I mean, just take a listen to the lyrics. If you play, you play for keeps. Take the gun and count to three. Then there's the chorus. I'm terrified, but I'm not leaving. I know I must pass this test, so just pull the trigger. You add those gun sound effects at the end and Russian roulette is about as literal as you can get. So if Chuck Harmony wants us to believe this is symbolism, he needs to break it down. Symbolism, symbolic of what? But before he does that, Chuck probably needs to have a conversation with his collaborator because Neo seems to believe that Russian roulette is, in fact, about actual gunplay. This is what he said. I'm listening to the track and all I can see is Rihanna and some random person sitting across from each other at a table with a gun in the middle of the table and playing Russian roulette. And I just started thinking, what would go through your mind if you was in that situation? Well, I cannot stand Rihanna's new record. I think that this song is terrible. We've got a whole bunch of young people out there in deep anguish, emotionally beaten down, frightened. And to have a song like this in front of them, well, that's kind of like splashing gasoline on smoldering red hot coals. Fortunately, Rihanna's camp is about to release a new single, something called The Wait Is Over. It's supposed to drop within the next few weeks. Now, I haven't heard this, but I'm glad a new record is coming out because the sooner we get this disgusting Russian roulette off of the radar and out of rotation, the better off for all of us. Thanks for listening. I'm Cameron Turner, and that's my two cents.